Hello everybody, it's Random Terry here. Can I get down there to see you? Maybe. Okay, hi there. Um, I'm doing a little mini craft project for you, and it is like about... <laughs> it's close to 1am, and I had the notion to do this, and it's not going to be very hard. So I have one of these little, little glass jars, right? And I need something to put my little, um, my little mints in, because these are King Leo's. They used to have, uh, King Leo stick candies. I love those too. Made with peppermint oil. There it is again. More mint from Dollar Tree. I picked these up the other day. Melts in your mouth. I love these little soft ones. But, um, um, I love these. They also have another brand they sell at Walmart that are good too. Uh, so I have two bags of these and I'm guessing at least one will fit in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be painting the lid here. So that's my um, project to put those things in. And I'm going to need this and this. These are multi-surface um, paints that I got at either Walmart or Hobby Lobby or something and the one is red and the other one is white so of course I'm going to paint the top to look like a peppermint so the first thing I'm going to do oh, I didn't bring something to yeah, hold on those dogs are getting rowdy okay I have come back and I wanted to put something get something to squeeze my paints into before I stick my brush in it and I was going to get like a little, like a little, one of my little plastic or melamine bowls to put it in. Because I thought this plate was kind of big and I didn't bring my little plastic, whatever that is, palette, I guess. I don't know. But I chose the paper plate that can be thrown away because, well, actually this is acrylic. But it is indoor, outdoor, dishwasher safe and multi-surface. And I didn't know if I'd have a hard time getting it off of <laughs> my dishes. So I did wash the top of this. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Um, and at first I'm going to start just by painting that white first and then I can go over with the red. And let's just see if this is any good still. I had it in my cabinet back there. Oh, it sounds like it's, sounds like it's loose. I should have done this before I started recording. But I didn't, did I? Oh yeah, that's good. And that's probably enough. And maybe, just maybe, I should take my lid off of this so I don't get it on the jar. All right, and I have my extra paper towel just in case. Just put my little white right there, my little cup of water, and then I'm just going to start painting this. And this might take two coats, I don't know. So I'm just going to paint. Okay, so now I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and we'll um, go in with the red after that. Okay, so now this is dry. <coughs> now I am going to draw some little dots on this. First thing I'm going to do is draw like a dot in the middle. What I think is... Yep. Right about in there. Okay, now I'm going to draw like 12... I'm gonna go 12. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, about 12 dots around like a, a clock. Should be easy, huh? Let's just see. So we're gonna go start there. Draw directly down. Do I want 12? Sure. Sure, I want 12. So we got work for 12, 9, and 3. 12, 6, 9, and 3. Okay, and that means we have to put two more in between. So I gotta split up what I think is.
I don't mind balling it, because, you know, my peppermint candy is not going to be perfect. But going to be cute. Hmm. I got a little off on my dot there. Okay, that's better. Better, better, better. Better. Okay, it is late. It is after 2 a.m. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that one better? Blink, blink. Okay. Too many, too many dots now, baby. Too many dots now. But it will be just fine. <clears throat> so I'll be painting over these lines with the red. So let me see if I can do this. <sighs> And then you paint the inside of that. Shaky, 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 shaky. Then I'm going to start doing. I am going to touch it up with some white. That's why I'm cleaning my brush. Yeah. Because my little hand just went flip, flip. Okay. Maybe I should have had another brush. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Let me get a little more. And that might not even show. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I wasn't talking during that. Yeah, I was being quiet. I thought I was in hyperlapse. Um, so I might cut some of that out. But I touched up the red a little bit because I kind of touched the red on the white so I had to kind of cover it up and I did the white before and now I touched retouched the red up so I am going to let that dry and then we will see where we are let it dry overnight maybe um, and then we'll see it Let's see where we go from there okay so it has dried pretty nicely and now I'm just going to put a coat of the Mod Podge dishwasher safe on top of it, and I'm using the dishwasher safe 
just because it is um, dishwasher safe and I can wipe it down if I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm just going to zippity doo dah and we'll be back. Okay, so my Mod Podge did, did dry on this and I thought I'm going to use E6000 and I don't know if it's going to sit on or stick on the um, all that paint and that Mod Podge. So I am just going around the middle there and kind of taking a bit off the middle. And I'm going to scratch. I'm kind of pulling in from the outside because I don't want to scrape, scratch it the other way. I'm scratching it towards the middle. This is just an old knife I used to cut boxes and stuff. I would probably cut my finger too. And you kind of get the idea. I'm going to glue something on the top of this. I should have just not painted the middle, but it kind of gave me a little easier to make the peppermint by having a center in there. So, I'm going to work on getting this all off without, you know, cutting myself. That's awful <clears throat> good goal to have. So what I am going to put on the middle is this cute little gingerbread man. He is going to, and I, <clears throat> so if the jar sits up like this, when we turn it to screw it on like this, I did notice that that, um, that little black mark right there is the like upside. That's why this is kind of like a little bit of this a little bit pointed because he is going to go right on and get glued on just like that. And that's going to be stinking cute. So I'm going to make this little um, area actually a little bit bigger. So I'm going to work on that and I'll be back with you. So I scratched my little um, metal out of that, just enough to kind of adhere to the metal, the bare metal, and I uh, kind of, I don't know if I abraded it too a little bit when I did that, I probably did, so it doesn't fall off. And I'm going to use E6000, some people use that and the hot glue, but I didn't want to get my hot glue gun out to do this and I'm using this E6000 from Temu and it did come with this nozzle that you cut the tip off but there's no way to close the nozzle so it'll dry out I don't I don't know unless you're gonna use the whole tube unless you take this off and then put this back on I guess maybe that's how you'd use it I wouldn't want to go messing with that though so I'm just going to do it this way. And try not to get a big goop on that, eh? You might find these metal tubes on this stuff. You go to squeeze them and then, you know, you can't stop it from running because you squeezed the metal tube that you can't pull back out. Yeah. Mm. No, enough will come out of this or not. Let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's indeed a hole in it. Ubi. Oh, yeah, stuff is coming out. All right. So, I am going to use my a straw. I had used it to drink with. I had it washed, and I can throw it away, basically. Yum, yum. That stuff's going to just be good, isn't it? Could have gotten a toothpick to do this, but this was the first thing I saw, and I can throw it away. I have a lot of straws. And it's bigger, easier to hold. Sorry if I am not in frame. I didn't really mean to be out of frame. <laughs> And I am going to put a little on the back of my little gingerbread man. And I did um, ask or look it up, and it seems like you can um, use silicone. You can bond silicone with E6000. So... Just gonna make sure that goes all the way out to the edge. Mm -hmm. hey, I like working with a straw. It smells like E6000. Ours that we have here. Okay, then yes, I thoroughly plan on getting some of this on my fingers while I wash up. I wash well. Okay.
So there's that. And I could put my jar on top of it for a week. But I am going to do something else because I have this rickrack that I've, um, I don't know where I got it. It's from Simplicity. And um, I think I've had it a couple years and I bought it for something and now I don't know what it is. But instead of putting it around the, I could put it around the edge of the, um, so. We're all going to do that, and then uh, I'll get that stuck down there. I might get a little piece of tape to tape it on, and then we'll come back after that, probably tomorrow after this is dry. So, we'll let me do that. Okay. So this is kind of on there enough that I can show you what I'm doing. So I have these King Leo candies and this is what I'm gonna not open it up there, buddy. Okay. These are so good. I actually had a one <laughs> and one bag. Like one bag of these from Dollar Tree will fit in there. And that Rick Rack is, is taking on pretty well already. See, I kind of put the lid on to make sure that when I set this flat side up, Gingy will be upright. So, that is my little Dollar Tree get and I'll be pulling off the label on the bottom of it but um, that's that would make a cute little gift oh and I didn't tell you where I got the gingerbread man that came from Timu a set of 12 I actually I'll show these in another haul and I am going to put something on him to keep him down um, but I got him in a set of 12 from Timu and I think that was on my one of my free items that I picked and uh, they're really cute. They're silicone and they're like little trees. And I thought they were going to be cheesier, but they're really, they're really cute. Look at them. The little silicone. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'll show you the rest of them too when I get my, when I get that haul out. But for right now, this little guy, um, Actually, they're individually wrapped candies, so I can just do that. And then I will let him dry, and we will be done. So that's my little um, craft project for you, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I might take one of these, and if I thought about it, I would have gotten two of these jars and made two of these at the same time, because they'd make a nice little gift for like a coworker or a, a teacher or, you know, one of those little things. If somebody likes mints, I do, and I'm going to go now because the dogs are going crazy. All right, till next time, bye.